So again, first make sure that you've drawn orbital notations for Mg versus Al. And let's investigate why is it easier to remove an electron from Al, aluminum versus magnesium. Now again, we would expect ionization energy to increase across a period because you have the same shells but adding a proton, so you've increased the effective nuclear charge. But I'm telling you, there's actually a drop, and here you can see these numbers here in kilojoules uh, per mole. Um, but there is a drop in ionization energy when you go from group either 2 to 13, you can think of it, or 2 and 3a. Um, so let's look at where we are removing electrons from. Um, the valence shell is the third shell. For magnesium, we'll be removing an electron from the 3s orbital. And in aluminum, we are removing an electron from the 3p. Hmm, so which do you think is easier to remove? Oh, it must be that 3p electrons are easier to remove than 3s. So you're going to see this dip happen every time you go from group 2 to 13 or 2 to 3a, that there is a dip in ionization because you are now removing a p versus an s electron. So it is a p versus s argument, and you can make it as a distance argument. Some people like to say p um, is further from the nucleus than s. In actuality, it's actually a, a penetration argument, we call it. The p uh, does not penetrate the nucleus as well as s. So the S can penetrate and get closer to the nucleus than P can, so it is easier to remove P than S. So make sure you know this reason. The reason for group 2 versus 13 is you are pulling from a P subshell versus S, which is easier to remove from due to a lower penetration effect. If you had to say a, you know, a distance argument, you could say that P is further from the nucleus, but in actuality it's that it doesn't penetrate the nucleus as well. Some people have the urge to focus on paired and unpaired electrons here, but that is not the argument. That's the argument for the group 15 and 16 anomaly. Why is that not the argument here? Because paired electrons would repel each other and therefore be easier to remove. So if you're using that argument that you have more repulsion for paired electrons, it should be easier to remove Mg's valence electron than Al's unpaired but it is not. It is easier to remove aluminum. So paired and unpaired is not the argument for group 2 and 13. It is a subshell argument, S versus P. P is easier to remove, um, doesn't penetrate the nucleus as well, whereas group 15 and 16, that is your paired electron repulsion uh, argument. So know those two anomalies, or those two little dips in ionization. The AP loves to ask about them. And as a heads up, they only apply to the first ionization energy, meaning it only applies to the energy needed to remove a valence electron. This has nothing to do with inner shells, like if what's easier to remove, a magnesium or an aluminum 1s electron. That is totally different. I would go by whichever has more protons, it's going to be harder to remove.